This one? Yeah. Yeah, like last year. <laughs> okay, did Drake start that whole thing or what? Oh, guys, we have exclusive footage of the Drake, the Drake and Chris Brown fight. Uh, this is security footage. Thrift Wall exclusive. Check it out. Uh 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 uh, this scale is broke. Cheetah, didn't I tell you to fix this scale? Then what you looking at? With your ashy ass lips. Whatever, fat ass. <laughs> Or no, Capcom. Because okay. uh, the EVO fighting tournament's happening. I was watching some of it this morning. Okay. So Those weird. guys are nuts, man. Oh, man. These are ridiculous. Playing, uh, Street Fighter 4. It was really good. But anyway, uh, Capcom announced a two-pack of, uh, call it Marvel versus Capcom Origins. So for 15 bucks on PSN, I don't know how much it is on Xbox Live for the points. But yeah, you get Marvel superheroes and Marvel versus Capcom when um, there's online capability and all that stuff that they put in. Hopefully for Marvel vs. Capcom they put like what the Dreamcast had, the two on two, like the yeah. four player. That was sweet. good on Dreamcast. I don't remember, like, we'll have to that. see. This is the thing that's scaring me. Next topic that's scaring me is the moving away from physical discs to download yeah. games. And then like once the game is released, you can play it a minute after it's released at 9 in the morning. So 9.01 you could be playing the new FIFA 13. I hate download stuff. Oh, that's what happened with um, Portal. Portal 2. Yeah, yeah it's a download only. Yeah, you download that on PC on Steam, and then they released it like at 12.01 at night or whatever. Yeah, my brother downloads off Steam. He's one of those people. Because then, what are you really paying for? Paying, Digital data. You're paying for the right. That's it. You're not paying for like, you know. You're paying for a license to play it. That's all it is. Yeah, it's not I really. Don't, I, yeah. For some reason, my mind. <laughs> that's the future though. That is the future. Imagine that, like, your kids in the future, so like, oh, can you go get me a game off, blah, blah, blah. It's gotta download it. Yeah, and it's just like... Open that for Christmas, kids. Yeah. Jeez. That'd be horrible, hey? Christmas, you turn on your, like, PlayStation 5 or something, <laughs> and then it's like... They, sh they should have the option where if you buy a physical copy, you know how, like, the Blu-rays come with the digital copy yeah. code? It comes with the code so you can download a, like a digital copy onto your console oh, yeah. just in case. But whatever, if you don't embrace the future, you get engulfed by it. <laughs> Next topic. It's like, who wants head? <laughs> Everybody ready for head? This is still here. I can't believe no one bought this yet. I'm actually, a copy it's for one. Yeah. Should pick that up, shouldn't I? Oh, that's not bad. Check it out. Young Jeezy, Block Music. Oh, for people who don't know, on YouTube, the movie company Trauma, spelt with an O, uh, uploaded all their movies to YouTube. I don't even know who that is. What is that? Not a lot of people do. They're mainly a B movie company. Oh, okay. But they got, I think their biggest claim to fame was the movie The Toxic Avenger. They made that movie, Toxic from, from the 80s? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. They uploaded all their B movies to YouTube. So it's like the full length movie, uncut. It's just awesome. It's like Netflix for free. I was watching a bunch of them the other day. Uh, what did I, I tried to watch. Wait, I watched uh, Toxic Avenger. I watched this movie called Slaughter Party. They got a bunch of zombie movies on there. It's awesome. And it's free on YouTube. I'll put a link to it on the side. I think it's this side. I'll uh, link it to our page so you can watch it. Let me see that. Remember to do good. Do your part. Do Nate. <laughs> really? One comedy. Five bucks, eh? Hello. That's sweet. They're sweet. I don't want these things. Ridiculous. Seven ninety nine. It's missing the receiver. This is just a brick. Unless they put it separate. Yeah, I charge you seven ninety nine for the receiver. Okay, these sell for like twenty bucks. It's like just basically like this, right? Yeah. And when you press it, it starts to crystallize. I think. Oh, 
Oh, that's trippy, eh? I'm just rooting this for the next person. Oh, that's so hot. That's not bad, actually, for six bucks. If you buy these in store, they're like 20 bucks, man. <laughs> it's getting so hot that you can't touch this. Feel it. Oh, sweet. It's trippy, eh? Look, it's pretty sick, eh? I should buy this for my wife. <laughs> now you know whoever had guessed this now, they have to put this inside boiling water to, to deactivate it again. <laughs> Next topic. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man came out on Tuesday. It's one of the biggest openings of all time. I think it hit 30 million dollars on its opening Tuesday. Did it beat Avengers? No, Avengers is still the best, but awesome. it beat out Transformers. Oh good, good, good. good. But I'm very iffy on watching it. There are two schools of people who watch it. There's the comic book fans, and then there's just the regular moviegoers. And it seems the comic book fans really love it, but the regular moviegoer kind of like, eh, I've seen this story before. You know, it's nothing new. Take me somewhere I haven't been before. My so, sister liked it. She yeah? watched it with her boyfriend. But you know what I mean? It's kind of like, so should I watch it? I don't know. So yeah, they said this. New Amazing Spider-Man opens up the Pandora's box to a whole another franchise of Spider-Man for Fox. Thank God, because Spider-Man 3 was horrible. I didn't like it either. Oh. I was very upset with Sam Raimi that he let that happen, but apparently Sam Raimi had so much pressure from the company to shove Venom in there and shove all this stuff into one movie, because it was the grand finale, right? Thrift Dweller does not recommend Spider-Man 3. No, I, I don't know. Oh. Out of all the three, Spider-Man 2, obviously. Just wicked, amazing, good. I, I like Spider-Man 1. It just looks so cartoony. Especially nowadays. Even back then in 2000 when I watched it, I was like, man, that looks so CGI. Well, back in 2000, that's when they all started. Well, after X-Men, and it's like, whoa, cool. Like, Speaking of the X-Men movies, I don't know, man. I think it had so much promise starting off. And X-Men X3 or whatever was just ugh. Wolverine Origins. It's like Wolverine was like flying in the air like this. <laughs> Trying well, to attack Magneto. X That's the last wrong. stand. Please be the last stand. First oh. class was good. I liked it. Did you like it? Okay. No? Oh, I loved it. I'm not in, really into comics, but I love first class. I thought first class took too many liberties and just started adding whatever the hell they wanted. What would you suggest that they should just reboot it again? Fuck yes. For a third time? Put some freaking apocalypse in there, then it'll be dope. Apocalypse would be the ultimate enemy. If you're watching, Fox, I want apocalypse in the next X-Men movie. I'll write it for you, <laughs> I'll pen it for you, I'll send it in. I have a cast already in mind, ready to go. X-Men, directed by Nate and Lester, the thrift dwellers. And then if that goes successful, they should do a new Mortal Kombat movie. Oh, please! <laughs> I thought Mortal Kombat deserved a, a way better movie than it got. I, you know, I like it for its campiness. Yeah. Mortal Kombat deserves a really good serious movie. I think the only good thing about the first Mortal Kombat was uh, Raiden, because it was played by Mr. Highlander there. Christopher Lambert? Yeah, and uh, Johnny Cage was funny. I thought he was funny. <laughs> He's okay. Anyways, peace. Games that you find at the thrift store, like just the, the disc only. It's kind of sucky because you had nothing to display with. So one, you know, if you're ever bored at home one day, try making your own labels.